what are the best mortgages when it comes to investment properties? We're gonna talk about it right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you wanna learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. When it comes to buying an investment property, the two most important things to consider are cash flow and penalties. So let's start off with cash flow. Regardless of whether it's your first time buying a property or you've purchased many investment properties, you know cash flow is important. You want to make sure that you calculate how much rent you expect to receive so that it'll cover your mortgage payment, property tax, strata fees, insurance, and other monthly expenses that you may incur. For mortgage payments, that's where we can set up a proper mortgage that can help you minimize the payments. There are a few ways. First, if you have at least 35% down payment, you can set up a home equity line of credit. The rate for this product is higher, but the best part is that it's interest only payments. Banks won't require you to pay any of the principal amount. That reduces the payments by almost a half. But you know, not everyone has that much down payment. The minimum required is 20%. And if that's you, I would recommend setting up a hybrid mortgage where one part of it is a standard mortgage. And as you pay down the mortgage, access to the line of credit will appear and you can have access to it. But well, why is this important? Because it keeps your cash liquid. Whenever you pay into your mortgage, you can draw it back out from the line of credit easily. Situations where you need extra cash for repairs or say your place is vacant and you don't have rent coming in, you can draw it out of your line of credit and use that as your payment temporarily. It's very flexible, which is the whole point. You want access to your cash as easy as possible. Next is penalties. Many people don't think about this because it happens at the end when you decide to sell you want to minimize your penalty. However, the problem is you don't know when you want to sell. It may be a year or 10 years, depending on the market and what's going on with your life. In order to minimize your penalty, choose a variable rate mortgage. It doesn't matter what the rate is at that time, choose variable. Having a variable rate mortgage will cap your penalty to only three months interest. And with rates low, that accounts to only a few thousand dollars. What you want to avoid is a fixed rate. That's probably the worst mistake you'll make. You cannot time your sale perfectly to minimize your penalty. And depending on when you sell, your penalty can be around three to 4% off the outstanding balance. All the horror stories you read on the news where a family sells their home and they have to pay a you know, $30,000 to $40,000 penalty, that is a fixed rate mortgage. That penalty will eat into your investment profit. So regardless of the rate at the time of buying, choose variable. And there you go. We just went over what are the best mortgages when it comes to investment properties. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.